Welcome to Megamation Direct Line Training. This video will look at adding details to a PM entry. On the PM Procedure Entry screen, with the PM displayed, click Line Scheduling Details in the bottom right corner. The PM Detail Entry screen is where planned time and materials, checklists, and documentation would be attached to a PM. This screen is equipment specific. At the top, the PM number is listed as well as the equipment number. Click the drop-down to select other equipment from this PM. Enter planned hours by clicking in the trade field, then use the search button to display a list of trades. Choose from the list by either double-clicking or single-click, then click OK. Function can be used to enter a short description of the tasks this trade will perform. This is most useful when a PM requires multiple trades. Enter the number of people of this trade who will be required, then an estimate of the number of hours required per person. Checklists can be attached by clicking the drop-down and choosing from the list of available checklists. These checklists can be printed along with the work order if needed and can be completed on either the desktop or mobile applications. The Reference Documents section allows for attaching standard and safety documents to the PM. These types of documents can be printed with the work order. See the Standard and Safety Procedures video for instructions on how to create these. Add a standard document by clicking in the Document Number field, then click the Search button to display a list of available documents. Choose from the list by either double-clicking on a line, or single-click one or more, then click OK. Add a safety document by clicking on the Document Number field, then clicking the search button to display a list of available documents. Choose from the list by either double-clicking on a line or single-click one or more, then click OK. Use the paperclip buttons next to standard and safety procedures to view the attached documents. Click on the Materials tab. Here, add parts that are required for this PM. Click the Part Number field then click the search button to use the inventory header search to find the part. Add the required quantity for each part. Now click Save. The details for the first equipment are saved and the next equipment is displayed. Add details as required or if the details are the same for both, click Copy Details From and copy the details to this equipment. Alternatively, click copy details to to copy the details to all other equipment on the PM.